Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So in DCS World, and you guys have asked a question, how do I get AI planes to use the JSAL guided bomb munition weapon thing and the JDAM and I thought we might as well add the TALD in there with the F-14B as well. And it's all very easy, so I'm going to show you how. So we've already got a target. Tom Miner has all of these bad tanks on it. And we're going to get a Hornet to go and blow them up. So aircraft group, left click there. We're going to go F-18. Mm, Pion. Going to give him some altitude, 16,000 feet. And, I don't know, 450 knots should do. Going to give him an ingress waypoint. Give him, give him an egress waypoint. So that's waypoint zero is where he starts. Ingress is one. And it's important where you put one because that's going to determine where he releases his weapons. And egress is going to be number two. So that's that. Next, we are going to uh, give him his very important we have to give him the right task we're giving ground attack Boop. and we're going to select his weapons and we've got this one here this is four times uh j cells so okay and we're going to spruce him up to four number in that group and we're going to go back to waypoints back to waypoint one which is the ingress waypoint to that ingress waypoint we are going to attach oops we're going to attach a advanced action, a waypoint action. So we can select waypoint one, add, uh, sorry, wrong one down here, add, perform task, bombing. And we're going to put bombing here. Somewhere on our targets, I guess about there, somewhere about there. We're going to tell him what type of weapon to use. I'd like to use guided weapons, please. I'd like to you to release all of them. I'd like one attack, I'd like it to be a group attack, and the rest of the stuff I'm not going to specify or constrain, you can figure that out. So the ingress waypoint is about 10 miles away, which all sounds perfectly feasible. So that's my JSAL group there and done. Next we're going to copy and paste that there, and this is going to be the JDAM group, and I'm probably just going to do exactly the same. I'm probably just going to change this payload. Uh, so his payload is now going to be, um, what is it? Um, Bombers. And the reason we're using bombing, the bombing advanced action point in with the JSAL is that the JSAL is actually a bomb. I know Wagner put it under missiles, but it is actually a bomb as far as DCS is concerned, as far as I can tell. Um, sorry, what was I doing? Um, GBUs. So let's carry some GBUs. These ones here, look. GBU. GBU. Um, you know what that'll do. And let's take that down to one. Let's put that back up to four. Let's check his waypoint one. Check his bombing. He is bombing uh, with guided, which is right. He's releasing all of them. And his target is going to be that target. We'll give him that tank there. Okay. So that's that done. And we might as well add a Tomcat in as well. I'll have a few Tomcats and see if we can get the uh, towers working. I haven't actually tried this, but it'll probably work the same. So we've got... Um, blah, 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 blah. Take this down to 1. F14. And it's probably going to think it's a bomb as well, I imagine. So we're going to keep on ground attack. Hi. Uh, going to give it... Pion. What are these? Are these then? Tals. Yep. Four of them, and let's check out the advanced action associated with one. We're going to give it bombing. We're going to give it uh, just tell it auto. I'm not sure if it classifies it as a guided or a non-guided weapon. Probably non-guided, but auto. It's group attack. Uh, not really sure how that's going to work, but we'll give it a go and see how that works. Um, that's pretty much it. It's just. So just like I said, really simple. So the aircraft are going to fly to waypoint one, as I've suggested. At that point, they are released. At that point, they can do whatever they want to, as long as they do the bombing. Um, so that is where I can I can define where they can start the bombing by where I put my ingress waypoint. So if you want to do a seventy mile lob shot, you can put that out seventy miles, or you know however you want to do it. Uh, the egress doesn't matter. Just you know wherever the egress wants to be. Uh, that's pretty much it. So we're going to go and save that and drive it now. See how it works. Okay, and we go. So they're going to get to waypoint one first, then they're going to be released to do follow their coding for their attack. Here they go. Right, one set of JSALs out there. Four. Are they JSALs? Yep, JSALs from this dude here. 
Uh, the other three haven't dropped theirs for some reason. I don't know why. We'll find out soon, I'd imagine. The rest are going in. Closer. I'm not sure why they're going in so close. Oops. I would have thought they could have dropped these by now, but... Maybe I'm wrong. Whee! There we go. Okay, that's the JDAMs. So it looks like they're all going to drop the JDAMs. Yep, it's all looking good. Okay. These guys appear to be coming in for another JSAL run. Not sure what the Tald guys are doing at the moment. Oh! How exciting! Appears they're going for a rocket run with them. Just see where everyone is. Ooh, the first bombs are about to hit. Ooh, what should we follow? What should we follow? Oh, it's going to have to be the bombs, really, isn't it? Boom! Not sure where the Tomcat's got to. Ooh, something went over there. Oh, here come the Tauds, look. Uh, sorry, the uh, Jasos. Oh, the 14s are coming. <laughs> I don't know what they're... They are literally rocketed them, the, using them as rockets. How cool is that? Get some! Tauds! Forever. We've got any towels out at the moment? Yeah, here the towels. So they're literally firing them like rockets against the ground targets, and then they just kind of swoon along. That's interesting. <laughs> Look at that. That's so cool. Woot woot. Right, so I may have used the towel drum. Everything else seems to work. Okay, uh, the J Dammers are all off now. Here go the towels. Um. Oh, shit. Another 12 J cells in the air. I guess those towers are just going to fly now until they run out of energy. F-14s are finished doing what they thought they were supposed to be doing. I guess. These guys are RTB. The J cells are RTB. The Tomcats are going in for their second rocket run. Which is just cool. Oh, this is going to be painful. There. Pretty cool, right? Amazed that stuff is still left alive. That's that. What happened to the Tomcats out of interest? No, they're bored of RTB now. Oh, they used two towels each. Right, so the J-Sows and the J-Dams worked okay. Uh, it's just the J-Sows are a bit funny. Uh, sorry, it's just the towels are a bit funny. Let's just uh, quit and see if there's anything obvious that we can do. Okay, let's have a look at those Tomcats. Waypoint 1, advanced action. So we've got it as bombing. The only other thing is we've got is... Tap map object. I don't think that's any use. No. Uh, no. So bombing... Auto, uh -uh. group attack. Anything I can think of trying is attack above a certain feet. In footage, uh, this usually doesn't work when I try it, but I'll, I'll try to see what happens. Maybe they'll f toss them further out at that point. Uh, other than that, as, uh, I don't, I'm not, not sure how to get the towns to work properly. No, they go down to 6,000 feet. They're just going to ignore me, obviously. Get some! <laughs> That's funny. Right, well, we've got the J cells and the uh, the uh, J Dems working okay. If anyone knows how to program the Tauds, uh, what I'm doing wrong with that, that would be useful. Um, otherwise, hope that helps. See you later.